Hey, what's up, guys? So, Comic-Con has uh, ended. It started on Thursday, I think. I don't know. And it ended yesterday. So, I wanted to make this video to tell you guys my thoughts on what was announced at Comic-Con. First of all, let's uh, discuss some of the stuff, um, other stuff besides the superhero stuff first. Um, first of all, they Legendary announced um, the Warcraft movie. They showed the little title screen, and they showed some uh, set photos, I think. I don't know. Um, I'm not a big War. I'm not a Warcraft fan. I'm really not. I'm really not into that kind of stuff. But they said that they're not really making this movie just for the fans. They're making it for movie fans in general. It's kind of like with the J. 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 Abrams uh, Star Trek movie back in like 2009. They it wasn't just for Trekkies. It was for everybody. And I think that movie did it successfully. So hopefully. It's the same for Warcraft. And speaking of Legendary, they announced a ton of stuff there. Um, they they showed like um, some props and like set photos of the Crimson Peak movie that's going to be directed by Guillermo del Toro. He's the guy who directed Pacific Rim and Hellboy and all that kind of stuff. Really, I'm looking forward to that just because it's del Toro. I, I really love his stuff, so hopefully... It's a horror movie, so hopefully it's scary. Um, last horror movie he made or produced was Mama, and I think I think that movie was pretty good. So hopefully, uh, Crimson Peak was pretty is pre gonna be pretty good. Man, I can't speak today. Um, some other stuff they announced was Pacific Rim Two, um, which I'm really looking forward to. I loved the first one. Um, uh, some other stuff they had there was about. Oh, the big stuff um, I really want to discuss is the kaiju stuff. First of all, they announced that they tweeted um, that something about get ready to explore like the mysteries of Skull Island, Skull Island, which if you don't know is the setting of King Kong, and they're supposedly rebooting King Kong, uh, which I'm really really looking forward to. Um, I like. Uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong back in like 2005, okay, it was pretty good. Um, it's legendary, so anything they make, I'm looking forward to immediately. So, uh, the other thing they announced, and I'm, oh my god, when I heard this, I almost pissed my pants. Not really. Um, but they announced, in Godzilla 2, they announced that Toho um, let them use the rights to Godzilla's other monsters, like Rodan, Mothra, and King Ghidorah. Yeah. <laughs> they're really, really stepping it up. Um, they're bringing back those three monsters, and, oh my god, I can't imagine seeing those three or four monsters just fighting each other in the next Godzilla movie. Mm, yeah. Um... That's it for, like, the smaller stuff. That's it for the legendary stuff. That's the big stuff I want to say. But I want to discuss uh, the DC stuff and the Marvel stuff. And I want to start with Marvel stuff first. Um, they released... Uh, the biggest thing they had there was they announced the Avengers Age of Ultron uh, concept art, which is a picture of the Avengers fighting off the robots created by Ultron. And they're all... In a sticky situation, um, you can see Hulk, uh, Black Widow, Thor, Quicksilver, and Scarlet Witch, Iron Man, Captain America, and Hawkeye. And this proves once again that Hawkeye can barely do jack crap. He looks like he's getting his butt kicked, and you can tell that some of the robots have been shot with arrows, and it's not doing anything. So, <laughs> and uh, they're all in a sticky situation, so... Yeah, that's uh, one, the biggest thing they had there. The other thing they had there was they had uh, the Ant-Man poster with Paul Rudd and Michael Douglas. And it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm still not really sold on the Ant-Man thing. I might see it just because it's a Marvel movie. But I don't really give a crap about Ant-Man. Not really at all. And... Um, they had some other stuff there, like they announced Guardians of the Galaxy 2, um, they announced, uh, some other small stuff, um, nothing really else to talk about. Now let's get to the DC stuff. Um, 
they had some pretty awesome stuff there. Um, first of all, they had the first uh, reveal of Wonder Mo Woman, played by Gal Gadot. Um, it, they showed her costume and her look, and I think she looks pretty good. Um, I like her costume. It looks enough like the comics, but it works as a movie. Um, you can see that she has a sword, and you can see she has the lasso, which is the lasso of truth. But I was expecting it to, like, glow or something. Um, that's just me. And, um, yeah, I don't know the background she's in. That she, it must be, like, some, maybe it's her land that's being destroyed. Or maybe it's, like, the remains of Metropolis after Man of Steel. Who knows? Um, the movie comes out in 2016, so we don't know jack crap yet. Um, now let's get to the big thing that they had there. Um, they showed um, they showed footage, just like a little 30-minute second uh, like f trailer, but it's not really a trailer. It's just like some footage. Um, it might be in the movie, but it's basically... Batman, is, played by Ben Affleck, is in, like, the armored uh, costume that looks a lot like the Dark Knight Returns costume when he fought Superman. Um, it looks pretty dang awesome. His eyes freaking glow. That's pretty cool. We have not really seen a Batman live-action thing that's actually had the eyes glow. We've only seen that in, like, the cartoons and the comics and that stuff. So that's pretty cool, and basically what happens in the little footage is that basically Batman is setting up, like, the signal, he lights it up, the signal shines in the sky, then Superman comes out and he's, uh, his eyes start to glow red, so you can tell, like, he's about to use his heat vision and fight Batman, and that, and then it cuts to Batman for, like, a little second, then it cuts to black and shows the logo, which looks really cool. This movie, by this footage, will be a wet dream for fans of The Dark Knight Returns. That's what I had to say about that. This footage was really freaking awesome. Um, I still... It gives me a small glimmer of hope that this movie will be good. Um, I, I'm excited for it, but with the casting of uh, Jesse Eisenberg um, as Lex Luthor, Ben Affleck as Batman, I'm still a little bit skeptical, but... I'm still excited, don't get me wrong, I st I'm i still really looking forward to this movie, and um, that's pretty much all that they showed there, um, so I wanted to discuss, um, I know I should be doing a movie review about the Hercules movie, but I'm just going to tell you my thoughts right now, because I'm going to be a little bit busy with um, school, I have to do an orientation tomorrow, I have to uh, get my schedule and get that stuff worked out, so I don't think I'll have many, very much time to do a movie review about that. So, I'm just going to tell you my thoughts on the new Hercules movie with The Rock. I watched it last night. Um, my thoughts, I, I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was fun. Um, it's directed by Brett Ratner, and it has The Rock as Hercules. I like The Rock, and he did a good job as Hercules, and... Brett Ratner did a pretty good job. It's probably his best movie since, like, I don't know, the last really good movie he made, like, maybe Red Dragon. But, um, yeah, it was a fun movie. It, what didn't have a lot of death, really, at all. But still, as a summer popcorn movie, it's solid. Um, The Rock did a good job with all the stunt work. He He's freaking big in that movie. He just... God, every time I look at him, he's just getting ready to kick some butt. And when he's, like, swinging his club around and hitting bad guys, it's it's pretty awesome to see, actually. Um, and John Hurt's in it, um, a few other people. Um, the, the cast was pretty good. It was decent. Nothing. Nobody really stood out. Um, the only person I could really think of was John Hurt. But that's really it. So... Thought, final thoughts on the movie. It was a fun summer popcorn movie, but if you're looking for anything else in it, nah, it's you're not really gonna get very much. But as a as a fun movie, it's the kind of movie you can put in and eat, make some popcorn with, and just like enjoy it. It's a good way to spend 
90 minutes if you don't have really anything to do. So, if I had to give it a grade, I would probably give it a 6 out of 10. So, that's it guys. Um, that's my thoughts on everything. Uh, on my opinions of who won at the Comic-Con thing, um, I think DC won, barely. Um, because... Marvel, I I love Marvel. Don't get me wrong. Um, they Marvel announced more stuff, like they show more stuff about everything. But um, I just really, I'm really looking forward to the Batman versus Superman thing. I thought that was the best thing out of everything they showed at Comic Con. So that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing?